Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans and Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls are poised to be two of the most captivating figures in potential trades as the NBA offseason continues. Both athletes have previously earned all-star status and are known for their impressive offensive skills. Ingram, at 26, and Levine, at 29, possess a blend of experience and youth that should ideally attract multiple teams seeking to enhance their rosters. However, the buzz around their availability has been surprisingly muted. This quiet market activity can be attributed to the financial considerations surrounding them. Levine is already on a max deal, while Ingram is looking to secure a four-year, $208 million maximum extension, a demand that the Pelicans are reluctant to meet according to the Athletics' William Guillory. The Pelicans face significant financial commitments already, with over $100 million allocated to Zion Williamson, C.J. McCollum, and DeJount Murray for the 2025-26 season. Additionally, they must plan for the extension of Trey Murphy III, who is expected to command between $20 million and $30 million annually on his new contract. This financial pressure leaves little room for another max contract for Ingram, especially considering the team's need to address the vacancy left by Jonas Valanciunas, who departed for the Washington Wizards. The complexity of managing these high-profile contracts while trying to build a competitive team underscores the intricate balancing act faced by NBA franchises in the pursuit of championship glory. In any prospective trade involving Brandon Ingram, it is imperative for New Orleans to secure a starting caliber center in return, ideally one who can complement Zion Williamson by stretching the floor. This is a crucial consideration as it aligns with their strategic vision of optimizing spacing and versatility in their frontcourt, thus enhancing Williamson's effectiveness on the court. New Orleans' quest for a suitable center could be intricately linked to the Chicago Bulls' recent transition into a rebuilding phase. Following the trades of DeMar DeRozan and Alex Caruso, the Bulls are clearly shifting gears. Shedding the remaining three-year, $138 million contract of Zach Levine would significantly aid this rebuilding process, freeing up substantial cap space and allowing for more flexibility in future roster moves. A trade scenario that facilitates Levine's exit from Chicago, relocates Ingram to a new team, and provides the Pelicans with their desired starting center could indeed be feasible with the involvement of a third team. The Golden State Warriors emerge as the ideal candidate for this role. Eager to bolster their roster after the departure of Clay Thompson, the Warriors possess the necessary contracts to match Levine's salary without having to part with young assets or future draft picks. This strategic alignment presents a win-win situation for all parties involved. The Warriors' pursuit of improvement this offseason aligns perfectly with the needs of both the Bulls and the Pelicans, potentially creating a trade framework that addresses the core requirements of each team while enhancing their overall prospects. The proposed trade between the Chicago Bulls, Golden State Warriors, and New Orleans Pelicans brings an intriguing shift in dynamics for all involved teams. Chicago acquiring Brandon Ingram and Andrew Wiggins signifies a strategic move toward revitalizing their roster. Ingram, a versatile guard forward, brings a fresh injection of talent and athleticism to the Bulls. His scoring ability, combined with his defensive prowess, can provide the Bulls with a much-needed boost on both ends of the court. Wiggins, known for his explosive athleticism and scoring, complements this by offering another reliable option in the forward position. This trade allows the Bulls to shed long-term salary commitments, giving them more flexibility for future financial planning and potential acquisitions. For Chicago, this isn't just about the immediate impact on the court but also about setting a foundation for sustained success in the coming seasons. The infusion of young talent and the ability to manage the salary cap more effectively highlight the Bulls' proactive approach to building a competitive team. On the other hand, the Golden State Warriors receiving Zach Levine brings an electrifying addition to their lineup. Levine's dynamic scoring and playmaking abilities align perfectly with the Warriors' fast-paced, high-energy style of play. His ability to create his own shot and facilitate for teammates fits seamlessly with the Warriors' offensive schemes. Levine's presence can relieve some scoring pressure off Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, providing the Warriors with another reliable offensive weapon. Moreover, his athleticism and versatility can contribute defensively, making the Warriors a more formidable unit on both ends. For the New Orleans Pelicans, acquiring Nikola Vucevic, Gary Payton II, and Kevin Looney, along with valuable draft picks, offers a blend of immediate talent and future assets. Vucevic's proven scoring and rebounding capabilities provide a solid foundation in the paint, while Payton and Looney add depth and defensive grit. The additional draft picks offer the Pelicans the flexibility to build for the future, ensuring a balanced approach to their roster development. 
This trade exemplifies a strategic maneuver where each team addresses its needs while positioning itself for a promising future. If Brandon Ingram doesn't seamlessly integrate into the Bulls lineup, holds out for a max deal next summer, or unfortunately faces more injuries, Chicago has the option to treat him as an expiring $36 million salary. When paired with Lonzo Ball, this would create a projected $57.4 million in salary relief by 2025. This financial flexibility is compounded by the fact that hefty contracts belonging to Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic would also be off the books. This scenario leaves the Bulls with a significantly leaner payroll of only $90.1 million in guaranteed contracts. With a 2025 to 26 salary cap projection of $154.6 million, this would provide a substantial opportunity for the Bulls to reshape their roster. This newly available cap space gives the Bulls the freedom to strategically acquire contracts that could yield valuable draft picks, aiding in a potential rebuild. Alternatively, it allows for the possibility of speeding up their competitive timeline by targeting marquee free agents. The 2025 free agency class promises a wealth of talent, with high-profile names such as LeBron James, Jimmy Butler, Laurie Markkinen, Jamal Murray, Julius Randle, Miles Turner, and Aaron Gordon expected to be available. The chance to add a star player could rejuvenate the team's dynamics and elevate their performance, providing a fresh start and an exciting future for the franchise. However, if Ingram delivers another all-star caliber season in 2024-25, the Bulls might have a compelling reason to retain him. As the only team capable of offering him a five-year deal, they would have a distinct advantage in negotiations. Ingram, at 26 years old, demonstrated his prowess last season with an impressive average of 20.8 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 5.7 assists, while shooting an efficient 49.2% from the field. His performance could potentially be even more remarkable without having to share the spotlight with two other 20-point-per-game scorers like Zion Williamson and C.J. McCollum. Ingram's continued excellence could be the key to unlocking the Bulls' potential, making him a cornerstone for the team's future success. The Chicago Bulls are contemplating a significant trade that involves acquiring Andrew Wiggins. This deal comes with the advantage of Wiggins' contract being $53.3 million less over the next three years compared to Zach Levine's hefty $138 million commitment. The restructured roster would feature a promising young core, including Kobe White, Brandon Ingram, Patrick Williams, Josh Giddy, Mattis Buzelis, Jalen Smith, and Ayo Dosunmu, all under the age of 26. This mix of youthful talent and potential could usher in a new era for the Bulls. This trade not only frees Chicago from the burdensome contracts of Levine and Nikola Vucevic but also provides them with a crucial year to evaluate how well Ingram integrates into the team dynamics. From the perspective of the Golden State Warriors, acquiring Zach Levine is a strategic move aimed at bolstering their roster without breaking the bank. The Warriors would send Andrew Wiggins, Gary Payton II, and Kevin Looney in exchange for Levine, a versatile guard forward. The offseason saw the Warriors make notable additions like Buddy Heald, DeAnthony Melton, and Kyle Anderson. However, the uncertainty surrounding their playoff prospects in the highly competitive Western Conference remains. The loss of key players like Clay Thompson and Chris Paul, combined with the potential rise of teams like the Memphis Grizzlies and Houston Rockets, casts a shadow on their future. Yet, with Levine's dynamic presence, the Warriors could find the spark needed to reignite their championship aspirations and navigate the challenges ahead with renewed vigor and determination. If the Golden State Warriors are unable to acquire Laurie Markkinen in a trade or choose not to part with Jonathan Kuminga and all their first-round picks, Zach Levine emerges as a promising buy-low option. His acquisition could be financially feasible for the Warriors. The contracts of Andrew Wiggins, Gary Payton II, and Kevin Looney align almost perfectly with Levine's salary this season, $43.4 million versus $43 million. Despite Wiggins experiencing two consecutive underwhelming seasons and being owed $84.7 million over the next three years, Levine stands out as the superior player. He has the potential to seamlessly take over Clay Thompson's former role as the starting shooting guard for the team. At 29 years old, Levine has been consistently impressive, averaging 24.8 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 4.4 assists per game, along with a 38.9% shooting rate from beyond the arc over the past four seasons with the Chicago Bulls. His performance has earned him two All-Star selections. While his contract is substantial, the Warriors are no longer burdened by the luxury tax, having waived Chris Paul and his non-guaranteed $30 million salary. Remarkably, this trade would actually save the Warriors $400,000, 
positioning them about $1 million below the first apron. A starting lineup featuring Stephen Curry, Levine, Kuminga, Draymond Green, and Tracy Jackson Davis, supported by a bench including Brandon Podziemski, Buddy Heald, DeAnthony Melton, Kyle Anderson, and Moses Moody, represents a deep and talented core, poised for significant success and a bright future. No team is going to give up real assets for Levine given his contract. If the price is just a, lesser, bad contract and a few role players, he becomes a steal. The New Orleans Pelicans have recently completed a noteworthy trade, acquiring the seasoned center Nikola Vucevic, along with guard Gary Payton II and center Kevin Looney. Additionally, the Pelicans secured a 2025 first-round pick, which is lottery-protected via the Portland Trailblazers, as well as second-round picks in 2028 and 2029 from the Chicago Bulls. In exchange, the Pelicans parted ways with guard, forward Brandon Ingram. This strategic move appears to address multiple needs for the Pelicans, who are keen on strengthening their roster and building a more competitive team. One of the critical reasons for this trade is the Pelicans' urgent requirement for a reliable center. Vucevic, a two-time All-Star, is seen as an ideal short-term solution. With two years left on his contract, worth $20 million in 2024-25 and $21.5 million in 2025-26, Vucevic offers the Pelicans a solid presence in the paint while they continue to develop their first-round pick, Eve Missy, as a future cornerstone at the center position. The addition of Gary Payton II and Kevin Looney further bolsters the Pelicans' depth, enhancing both their defensive capabilities and overall team balance. Despite losing Ingram, the Pelicans can leverage Trey Murphy III as a capable replacement, maintaining their flexibility and potential for future success. This trade not only addresses immediate roster needs but also strategically positions the Pelicans for long-term growth and competitiveness. Nikola Vucevic's performance last season was quite impressive, averaging 18.0 points, 10.5 rebounds, and 3.3 assists per game. His ability to shoot from beyond the arc, with a career average of 34.1%, ensures that opposing defenses can't easily double-team Zion Williamson in the paint. This increased spacing on the floor is not only beneficial for Zion but also opens up opportunities for Dejount Murray and CJ McCollum to exploit. Vucevic's presence on the court will undeniably elevate the offensive dynamics of the team, making them a more formidable unit as they strive for success in the upcoming season. His contributions will be pivotal in creating a more versatile and unpredictable offense, ultimately leading to better performance and higher chances of victory. Moreover, the New Orleans Pelicans have strategically positioned themselves for the future. By not committing to a long-term deal with Brandon Ingram, they have freed up financial flexibility. The expiring contracts of Gary Payton and Kevin Looney, totaling $17.1 million, will come off the books next summer, providing additional cap space. This financial maneuvering, combined with acquiring three draft picks, including a lottery-protected first-rounder from Portland through 2028, bolsters their assets. These picks are crucial, especially after trading two first-rounders for Murray, giving the Pelicans valuable leverage in future trade negotiations. As they enter the 2024-25 season with a strong starting lineup featuring Murray, McCullum, Herbert Jones, Williamson, and Vucevic, along with a deep bench, the Pelicans are well-equipped to make a significant impact. This strategic planning and roster enhancement set the stage for an exciting and promising season, full of potential and opportunities for growth and success.